You can lengthen the track to whatever you need it for. And what our algorithm does is it calculates a great intro and a great outro, always maintaining a musical sound and a musical arrangement. Hi, I'm Kiki, and today I will show you how Smart SoundCloud will revolutionize editing music to your videos. As a content creator and a video editor, you know the struggle of finding great music that you like, finding music that matches the length of your video, and then getting the editing done quickly. What's so special about our tool is that Smart SoundCloud adapts our tracks to the length of your video instantly. And the benefits of using that is that it'll save you hours and time of editing, the frustration of finding favorite tracks that don't match your video. And then also we offer you endless opportunities of creative exploration because you can use one track and create multiple variations of it. So today I'm going to show you in a live demonstration how you can do this to your tracks. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my file from my hard drive into the project. Sweet. Let's listen to it. Norway. 385,207 kilometers of untouched expanses and indomitable terrain. Fast stretches of emptiness and silence. The longest coastline in the world cut by ravine. Okay, so this video is just voiceover, and what it's really missing is it's missing some music and some sound effects. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to add a sound effect. So I'm going to go up to the search bar up here. I'm going to click sound effects, and I'm going to type in sub impact. Let's see what we have here. So I'm going to play the first one. Okay, I like how it sounds, but let's go ahead and try out some other ones. Hmm. Okay, so I like the first one the most. So to add it to your timeline, you can either just select and grab it, or you can just add the plus sign. So you're gonna put the cursor where you want it, add the plus sign, and here we go. Let's listen to it. Norway. Okay, I like how this sounds. I also want to add some music, so I'm going to go back to the search bar up here. I'm going to X out sub impact, select music, and I actually have my track already saved under the favorites tab here, so I'm going to go ahead and add it as well. This time I'm going to select it and add it to the timeline. Okay, let's listen to it. Norway, 385,207 kilometers of untouched expanses and indomitable terrain. Vast stretches of emptiness and silence. The longest coastline in the world cut by ravines and fjords. Such severe land that it would seem no one could dominate it. That sounded awesome. So actually I want it to be at 32 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag it to 32 and let's see how it sounds. Yep, that's exactly how I wanted it to sound. So as you can see, our special music adaptation feature allows you to lengthen or shorten it at exactly the time that you need it to. And what our algorithm does is it calculates a great intro and a great outro, always maintaining a musical sound and a musical arrangement. So I wanna go ahead and see how it sounds at 10 seconds. So let me go ahead and drag it to 10 seconds. Let's listen to it. Let's see what happens at five. It's 
sweet. So as you can see, again, you can lengthen the track to whatever you need it for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back at 32 seconds because that's what I want. So now because I want to reduce, like because I want to make some room for the voiceover, I have a couple of options. When the track is selected, at the left hand corner here, you can see that there is a customized track panel. And there's a few things that you can do. You can change the volume of the track. So I'm going to go and change it to yeah, a little bit over 50. Then you can actually select different variations of that track. Also, you have a couple of presets where the mix of the instruments is already set for how you need it. You can see it's the knobs are changing. But because I want to customize it myself, I'm, go, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reduce the drums, the percussion, the piano, and sound effect. All right. And now I want to see how it sounds. I love how this sounds. Okay. So there's a few changes that I still want to make. Well, first of all, I can use the automation mode to insert special places where I want to reduce some of the volume. All right. So as you can see, I double clicked a couple of spots that I want to change here and there. And then what you do is you go ahead and you pull it down the way you need it. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds with the voiceover. Norway, 385,207 kilometers of untouched expanses and indomitable terrain. Fast stretches of emptiness and silence. The longest coastline in the world cut by ravines and fuel. Okay, so I just inserted a few spots so you can at least see how it works. Now, because I want to add some intensity in the buildup, I want to go ahead and I'm going to add a mix change. So I'm going to choose a spot with my cursor. Then I click mix change. As soon as I have that selected, the blue colored part of the track is where the mix change is going to happen. So now I'm going to increase the drums, increase their percussion, and I'm going to play it and watch and listen to see if you can hear the difference. I'm going to mute the track again up here for the video, and let's listen to it. Okay, so you can hear the change here. Actually, I'm going to increase the volume just a little bit here. So now that we um, finished with the track, I know that there's a waterfall in this project here. So I want to insert another sound effect. So I'm going to go back to the search bar up here, click sound effects, and I'm going to type in waterfall. Let's see what it shows us. Ah, I like this one. Yep. I'm going to add it to the timeline. I'm just going to click the add button here, the plus sign, add the sound. As you can see, the sound is really long, so I'm going to have to trim it. So I'm going to go under trim mode here. You can also just press T on your keyboard and I'm going to trim the sound. Let's see. Till about here.
Since it's selected, I'm going to go up here under Customize Track, reduce the volume just a little bit so it's not overbearing. Then you guys already know there's like this dark spot over here. So I want to add another music soundtrack. So I'm going to X that up here, go under Music. I have it saved under my favorites again. I'm just going to add the plus sign again. Okay, and we can see the screen. And I'm going to go ahead, position it in the way that we need it to. Alrighty, so what I want to do is I want to add a fade to the waterfall over here. So if you do have to like increase the timeline zoom just a little bit, you can drag it down here in the right hand corner. Then you can add some fades here on the corner by pulling this little guy over here. Awesome. Sweet. Over here, I want to do the same thing to the music track. Mm -hmm. Do it over here as well. I mean, this is like imperfect, but just to give you guys an idea and let's like listen to it now. Norway. 385,207 kilometers of untouched expanses and indomitable terrain. Vast stretches of emptiness and silence. The longest coastline in the world cut by ravines and fjords. Such severe land that it would seem no one could dominate it. The unconquerable has been conquered. Today, 5.2 million people live here, slicing the rock into roadways, taming the water itself to meet nearly all their power needs. Norway is where the raw power of nature has met the raw power of man. Alrighty, so this was our video. Thank you so much for watching and for following me demonstrating how we can use the music ad adaptation tool for your projects. Go to our homepage, try it out for yourself. Go to an explore demo project where you can use the exact same project that I just used with the same video, same sound effects and music and try it out for yourself. We're really excited to support you in your video editing process and we look forward to making more videos for you. See you soon.